Hey y'all, welcome and welcome back. So for today's video, we are going to be doing something a little bit different and that is kind of taking a look at the channel as a whole rather than talking about like Monster High or Rainbow High or whatever might be going on. So at the end of the year, I have started to enjoy doing like kind of recap videos where I talk about specifically my top 10 worst dolls of the year and then my top 10 best dolls of the year. I think it's just like a fun way to end out the year and I know a lot of other YouTubers do the same thing. And I thought it would be cool this year to also do a retrospective on how the channel grew and like what videos were popular and stuff like that. I just thought it would be fun to kind of look back and see for me and I asked you guys in the community tab if you would want me to make a video about it and if you guys would be curious to kind of see those results as well and it seemed like a lot of you would be interested so that is what we're going to be doing today is looking through some of my channel analytics here. I hope this will be fun. I will be obviously posting like regularly scheduled doll focused content for the rest of the week and long beyond that. <laughs> this is just kind of one that we're taking a step back and getting a a little bit more um meta is definitely the wrong word <laughs> but we're talking about the analytics today and uh, hopefully that will be fun for you guys if you do find yourself enjoying if you could give the video a like that's very very helpful if you enjoy your time here today this isn't my normal content but you might like my other content so maybe subscribe if you want to see more uh, and if you want to go out of your way to support me i have links and stuff in the description but with that out of the way let's go ahead and start delving into some channel statistics here so a couple of things really quick. All of these stats are as of December 21st, just because that's when I went into my analytics and gathered all like the data for this video. There's no like reason that I picked that day. It just happened to be when I did it. And also I'm not like a big analytics person in the sense that first of all, I'm not good with numbers. So I'm probably not the best at interpreting the data to begin with. That's just not like a strong suit of mine, but I'm also just not, necessarily like super analytics focused or at least I try not to be super analytics focused because I do think as someone who makes content because it's fun for me it can take some of the fun out of it if I'm always worried about whether a video is like performing super well I pay attention to the analytics just enough to like try to make sure that I'm entertaining you guys and that I'm not like making bad content and so I will like check in like I'm not completely oblivious to it but I'm not always super, super paying attention. So some of these really did surprise me and were really, really cool to see. So the first stat that I wanted to talk about was the number of subscribers gained over the year. And that was 5,356. <laughs> and I might get a little bit emotional in this one because I just like genuinely am so surprised that there are so many of you now. We have over 9,000 subscribers on the channel and like we're making our way towards 10,000 which is just absolutely crazy to me and to see that 5,000 of you have started watching this year blew my mind. <laughs> so thank you first of all if you're an older subscriber so you're not kind of in that 5,000. Thank you. Thank you to like the 5,000 who joined this year and I mean even honestly it could be more than that at this point just because the data is going to be a little bit out of date from the time that I gathered it to when I post this video. I'm just really appreciative and it it boggles my mind that that was the number. It was really, really exciting to see. There's like a fun little graph here that kind of shows me how the numbers were throughout the year. And I mean, it, there's definitely jumps, there's ups and downs, but it seems like it was pretty relatively consistent growth. So that's just really cool. I'm really excited that something that is so fun to me and like so important to me uh, is continuing to draw more people in and like you guys seem to enjoy it so thank you first of all <laughs> um the next one was another stat that blew my mind like it, i i understand in the grand scheme of youtube this isn't necessarily that crazy but it was crazy to me okay so the next stat is the total views that i got across the year and that was 1,532,986 views obviously and counting because the year is not technically over yet and i <laughs> like that's such a big number that i feel like i can't comprehend it i understand that other like types of channels and stuff might routinely get millions of views on one video I just, I just can't believe people care about <laughs> the content that I make enough to where this channel had 1.5 million views, basically. That is absolutely bonkers to me. It looks like sometime, probably around like February to March, there was a really, really big spike. So thanks. March was a good month, I suppose. <laughs> but yeah, I just, I think sometimes, I've said this before, I think sometimes the internet numbs us to how big these numbers are but that is actually so crazy and 
it really warmed my heart. I was really excited to see that. So again, thank you. This is just going to be a video full of thank yous. <laughs> uh, the next one was the total watch time in hours, which was 65,657 hours that you guys spent watching my content. <laughs> and again, it's just like, thank you for deciding to spend your time watching my silly little videos. I understand, like, I'm someone who watches YouTube while I do other things, so, like, I'm sure a lot of you do that as well, where you're kind of multitasking while you watch the videos that I make, but the fact that you would put me on in the background or that you might actually literally sit down and dedicatedly watch a video of mine, it just means a lot, and 65,000 is a lot of hours. Okay, that's, hold on, let's do some quick math real quick. Quick math real quick. Good good job. We're just going to say 65,000 to make it easy. Uh, and then we'll divide that by 12 because that's... No. <laughs> I told you I'm not good at math. 65,000 to make it easy. Divide by 24 because that's how many hours are in a day. And that's 2,708 days. I think that's the right math. That's... <laughs> so wild to think about. And then if you divide by 365, that's 7.4 years that y'all spent watching my content. I don't know whether to laugh or to cry. <laughs> like, again, you see the number and you're like, wow, that's a big number, but it's like, whatever. But when you put it in the context, that's so bonkers. Unless I did my math wrong and I'm like getting emotional over nothing, but I'm pretty sure that's the right way to do the math. Wow. Either way, that's a lot of hours. So thank you again. <laughs> uh, next up, we are looking at the most viewed video. And this one really, really surprised me. Um, so I'll spoil the most viewed video first. <laughs> and that is when I did a ranking video for every Monster High G3 doll that was out at the time. That was seven months ago. So it's definitely out of date. If you haven't seen that video, if you go and watch it, it's going to be out of date. But as of when I collected this data, it had 8.8 thousand views. And I really was not expecting <laughs> this one to be it. I thought it was going to be like maybe an unpopular opinions video or like some sort of more controversial video, I guess. And to be fair, I have um, a list here of like the top 10 videos from the year. A lot of those were the ones that are a bit more controversial, like me talking about bad Monster High Collector releases or talking about what I thought might be the decline of Rainbow High. So definitely that kind of content was popular. I was just super surprised that a ranking video topped all of those. And also there are a few ranking videos in the top 10, I think one, two, three, three ranking videos in the top 10 which is way more than I expected. And I think one of you guys actually predicted this. I remember reading a comment that was like, I think your ranking videos are gonna be more popular than you expect. And that person was right. I'm absolutely shocked that there are three ranking videos in like the top 10 is like you rate by views. I'm not complaining though. Like I appreciate it. I'm glad that you guys enjoy those. I have tons of ideas for ranking videos. So I will definitely be continuing to make them and hopefully you guys will be continuing to enjoy them. But that was really, really cool to see. Um, obviously the next stat that I have to look at is the least viewed video. Like I gotta look at the most and then the least viewed video. And my least viewed video as of right now was only from three weeks ago. So it is a little bit more recent. So the data is like slightly skewed in the sense that the Monster High ranking video obviously had a lot longer to gain views and this one did not but it was my small pony haul video sitting at 339 views which honestly does make sense to me just because like I said a it is a slightly more recent video but also this is primarily a doll channel like 99% of the videos that I put up are about dolls and this one wasn't this was um like a little bit more niche for the content that I usually create this was about ponies rather than dolls so it definitely makes sense to me that my least viewed video would be off of a topic that is not something I usually talk about. So definitely something um, I was less surprised about than I was about the most viewed video. Then I wanted to look up the video that had the most comments, which is presumably the video that you guys had the most to say about. And that was the Chucky and Tiffany Skelector video, not like a review, but just me talking about what a disaster that release was. And as of right now, it has 228 comments. To be fair, some of those are me responding to comments. So like, I'm definitely contributing to bumping those numbers up, but the same thing could be said for any video. So I still think it's like a fair statistic to have there. That's a lot. <laughs> That's a lot of comments. Y'all had a lot to say, and I do understand that. I think this one definitely makes sense for being the video with the most comments, just because it is 
like a slightly more controversial video in the sense that we're talking about a release that didn't go well and I know a lot of people had a lot of feelings about it so this one it was surprising to me that there were so many comments but I wasn't necessarily surprised that this video or at least a video of this type was the one that like held the title for most comments. Next up I wanted to see which video had the most likes and it's actually the same video the uh, Chucky and Tiffany release video with 523 likes that did surprise me I I don't know why like I guess it makes sense it was in the top 10 uh, most popular videos and it had the most comments so, like obviously it was a video that you guys had like a lot to say about and like had a lot of traction so I suppose it makes sense that it had the most likes yeah, I, I don't know. I, I guess it makes sense. I'm not sure why I was so surprised. I just would have expected it to be something else. Not complaining. Again, like, I'm glad you guys seem to enjoy it. Uh, but that was an interesting one to see for me. Then these last couple of statistics are a little bit different. Um, I mostly wanted to focus on like my proper full length videos just because that is the like primary source of content or type of content that I put out. But one of these stats is one that was requested from you, which was which fandom had like the best overall video. And Monster High absolutely swept the board. Technically speaking, the Chucky and Tiffany dolls were Monster High releases, their Skelector releases, and those had the most comments and then also the most um, likes. And then a ranking video for Monster High was the most viewed video. So unquestionably, it seems like Monster High was the fandom that had like the best performance in terms of my analytics and my videos. I'm happy to see that it seems like a lot of you guys also enjoy Monster High as much as I do, or at least like talking about Monster High, even if it's not your favorite. Um, so that was kind of interesting to see, especially because when I got the comment requesting that I figure that out, I was a little like confused about how I would figure it out if say the like most liked video had rainbow high content and then the most viewed video had monster high content and the video with most comments had like lol it's like how do I balance that out but they were literally all monster high so it seems like unquestionably monster high is the most popular one and then the um last one the last bit of statistics that I wanted to share with you guys today was one that I actually just kind of found on accident <laughs> while I was looking at the analytics tab and that was my top content and I clicked on it because I was like oh well this is gonna be a source that I can use but actually all of my top 10 videos on the top content tab were shorts <laughs> which I wasn't expecting at all because like I said I wanted to focus on like my long form content for this video since that's what I put the most effort into and that's like what I post the most but by far my top content is my shorts if I'm not like focusing on the long form videos all of my most viewed videos by a lot <laughs> are um, shorts videos. My most popular one was Monster High Yes or No for Draculaura and that one has 128,000 views which is just bonkers to me. I do think it makes sense because I mean the shorts function like a lot like TikTok right and so I think my long form content is being pushed a lot hopefully if YouTube is doing its job to you guys who are subscribed or who watch my content frequently but it is a, like a lot to invest yourself into especially because I can get long-winded sometimes. Sometimes my videos are pretty long. Whereas the shorts content might get pushed to more people and it's like a lot easier to digest. So I guess it just results in more views. But literally all of the top 10 of my top content was taken over by shorts, which was just kind of funny to see. I don't know why I didn't think about it. I just really wasn't even accounting for shorts when I went into collecting data for this video. But I thought it was cool. Um, and I wanted to point that out that I guess shorts are doing a lot better than I thought they were. <laughs> But yeah, that is all of the analytics that I have to share with you today. I don't really know what to glean from them, because like I said, I'm not good at reading data. I guess I should make more Monster High ranking videos, because <laughs> you guys seem to like ranking videos and seem to like Monster High content. <laughs> but um, yeah, I just thought it would be fun to share with you guys. If you are better at reading data and have anything that you would like to share that like you think is something that you've learned from this, definitely feel free to let me know. Or if you like are surprised by the data, I would like to hear what your thoughts are on it. I don't know. I just hope this was fun for you guys to listen to. It was fun for me to go through and share with you guys. So I do hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day, your night, whatever it might be. And I will catch you all in the next one. Bye guys.